It's a busy day at the garage. Boys, guys, all got my exciter. It's originally only 135 horse. Do an engine swap. Put a, put a 200 horse into it. But he's got to make different mounting plates. Uh -oh. Cut a hole in the hull to make room for the exhaust. Get the prop shaft shortened. It's all fun and games until it starts costing money. It's already costing money. <laughs> hey, uh, this two-stroke tank is emptying out down here, it looks like. Yeah, it is. Let get that tube caught up. Let me get his tie, I guess. Ah! I'll just put it back in the tank. Okay. Three, five. Big Bird lost her ass. Boy, she ain't do no twerking with that thing. All right, this is this year's project. The LT1 383 stroker going into the Fiero. But uh, first, we're going to have to remove all this. Everything off the front. This front is way too long. It's like three and a half inches longer than a standard small block Chevy. Get all that knocked back. Got to flip that intake around, get the intake out the back side. And uh, we already got a small block Chevy in it. Oh, wait a minute. That's a water pump. Water pump from BMW. Remote water pump. That'll be controlled pulse width modulation. Waiting on a controller coming from Germany. Until all it comes tomorrow? Yep. Nice. By Mototech. I guess they build them. Tech Motive. Tech, tech, tech Motive. Tech motive. Tech motive. Okay, yes. close enough. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> but yeah, we already have a 350 in here. But uh, she got some bent rods. I think it was Hurricane Irene or something like that went through. And yeah, I had a fire back here once, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, we'll get this out and put that stroker in. Not much room back in there. I don't know if you hold that up. Let's see if we get that light down in there. You can see it. There's a water dog air on a small Chevy, but we can't use that. Different design. There's a remote electric water pump, but that's gone. We're getting rid of that because that. But uh, yeah, there's like there's like no room. There'll be more room. Valve covers might not clear though. And that thing's almost right against that hinge of the hood deck lid. Yeah, she was a she ran decent. Had to get some uh, get some headers for it. They're too small. Them things are tiny. But all you could use is uh shorties. Shorties, it's all can fit. Yeah, I think it is. It's an Elder Brock 650, I believe, on there. Ran good when it ran. But uh, just a teaser. That's this year's project. That's all in the box here. We got LS3 coils. Uh, not LS3. Pickup truck. The truck coils. D585s. Well, they're always they're AC ducklers, so they're OEMs. Tommy set. Do it away with the LT1 off the There's a cam gear, timer cover, the cam pickup, and a crank signal. Wiring harness and the EFI controller. The brains. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's this year's project. A little dangerous back here. Supposedly that radiator's out of a Nova. 
I'm going to have to say it's a hell of a, an old ass now. Look at this. Look how far them uh, cooling fins are. Them cooling fins are huge. Not much surface area. So that's got to go. This thing's had a whole heating problem since I bought it. It would overheat. And someone painted it black. But that's probably where the problem is. You tell oh, this is old. Look at that. It's copper. Copper tanks. But yeah, that's probably where the heating problem was. It's the fins are way too far apart. Not enough, not enough surface area to cool it with. This thing has no heat in it. Someone put a stereo in. There's a woofer in there. I don't know. It's probably gonna eat it or something like that. But the stereo never did work when I got it. The hell is all this mess? What the hell is all this? Oh, you know what that is? That's a temperature sensor for the uh, radiator. <laughs> we'll clean all this up. We'll get it running again. Alright. Remember guys, don't drink and drive. Later.